CBS 2 is demanding answers from the city. A home in the Bronx is a foul smelling mess. Neighbors say their cries for help have fallen on deaf ears. So yesterday we first showed you what some say is a health hazard. Today, CBS 2's Lisa Rosner took the problem to the mayor. This home on Balcom Avenue in the Throgs Neck section of the Bronx is like a growing jungle, and neighbors say it's becoming a growing problem. Sunday, we reported on bottles of urine in the driveway, mosquitoes and flies, and even a bucket of dead fish. He had outside for two days, three days rotting. You can smell it. You can smell it. <laughs> There's a lot of raccoons around here, and I know they, they, they feed off of this stuff. You can't get worse than this. There's mosquitoes. It's, it's disgusting. Today, no different, except surveillance video shows the bucket of fish was brought inside. As far as I know, he sleeps in the kitchen because the house is hoarded top to bottom with wood. We just want him to get the help that he needs to fix his house, and if he needs mental health, if he could get that as well. We spoke with the homeowner, 72-year-old Richard Curley, who says mosquitoes have historically been in the area and excuses his urination. I make my own fertilizer. I don't need to come at the fertilizer that the farmers do because they're poisoning you. They will poison you eventually. Mm -hmm. All right, so I make my own fertilizer, okay? And I've been doing that for since I live here, 15 years. Neighbors tell me they've tried to reason with Curly, but at times those conversations have gotten too tense. So they've asked multiple city agencies to help, but only a few violations have been issued and there's been no change. So we demanded answers from the mayor. The stench is horrible. The neighbors there say they've called many city agencies, sanitation, health department, police, fire. They are not getting anywhere. I'm wondering, would you be able to live next to this guy? I'm sure we can address this today. I'm glad you're bringing it to my attention. We will get out there immediately and see what we can do to address it. I'm glad you're raising it. After we again followed up with the multiple city agencies, the fire department visited, and so did a rep from the Department of Health. A spokesperson for DOH said today Curley denied the agency access, so now he may be ordered by the city to actually clean up the mess. But whether that will get everyone the help being asked for remains to be seen. In the Throgs next section of the Bronx, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Department of Buildings says it also issued a violation last week for failing to keep the property up to code. A hearing is scheduled for next month.